ready to go today? I'm ready. I'm ready. Are y'all ready, kids? Morning, team. Morning. Morning. That's a new shop truck. I saw it. It's pretty nice. So you know how the rules are at Collins Brothers. If, if any tickets we pay for, truck, trailer, whatever happens, yeah. you guys get tickets in that truck, it's on you. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what, I love short cab trucks. Regular too, cabs. 5.7 yeah. <laughs> Hemi, 392 Posse. That's pretty cool. But the rule does not apply in that truck. If you guys get a ticket, it's your ticket. Deal? All right. Deal. Okay. <laughs> so here's what we're doing today. We're gonna go to Dallas. I've been working with a guy for quite a while who has kind of given up on restoring his P1 Black Scrambler. Cool. As, a, as you know, Scrambler's my favorite Jeep. P1 Black is the ultimate color. Yeah. Motor's out, transmission's out, transfer case is out, which is why we've got classic car Josh here today because <laughs> we've got an F-250, it's one of our shop trucks, which I think we all love. Yeah, and it's got a Tommy lift on the back. Yes, indeed. It'll, it'll make it easier to get the drivetrain in that. And after that, we are going to go to the ultimate hamburger in Dallas, Motor and Maple. I mean, it's good. How cool yeah. is that? You got Motor in the name of a hamburger place? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pretty damn cool. So I got my cup of Joe. I guess you guys aren't doing your coffee this morning? I already drank mine. Yeah. All right, let's go. Pretty tight donut there, Zach. Aftermath. So why did I do that donut this morning? Because Zach asked me to. He said, Dennis, you're not any fun, ever. <laughs> he told me that yesterday. <laughs> he goes, we need to do donuts. I'm like, okay. Well, there you go, a donut. I don't think this is going to be an EG snap and grab. I've seen pictures of it, confident we're going to buy it, but it doesn't look like it's going to be easy to get out of this house. I don't even see a garage. Huh, it's interesting. Well, so I talked to the owner yesterday, email, text messages, confirmed all the times. And I just talked to him, he said he forgot, he's on the golf course. <laughs> what a life. I literally don't see where the garage is. Well, the key is stuck in the ignition. Um, the Dodge? Yeah. Well, that's weird. I have no idea. But we can't leave it. Do what? Can't leave it alone, though. Well, Josh, the welcome to our rescue. They don't always go fluid. No. Wouldn't be any fun. So I conferred with him yesterday via email, text message, and phone call. I just talked to him, and he forgot that he's on the golf course. Luckily, the golf course is 20 feet behind his house. I hope so. I don't even see a garage. Unless there's an alley back there. Well, that's what I was asking. What the there must be an alley back there. So, should we just take the Jeep and pay him later? <laughs> well, I will call him and see what we're supposed to do. How do we, how do we get to the alley? <laughs> Your 18-year-old son is asleep. Outstanding. It is 11 o'clock. Okay, so you want me to just ring the doorbell until he gets up? I don't mind doing that. Okay. Hang on for one second. I'm gonna put you, I'm gonna put you on the speaker. You got me? Okay, I got you. Can you hear me? Alright, uh, yeah, I got you. Okay, so you don't mind if I ring the doorbell until your eighteen year old son until I wake him up? It's eleven o'clock yeah, in the morning. If you're gonna wake him up or even better yet, if you go through the gate on the right, I've got all kinds of people in my house from this uh, snowmageddon that we had. Okay. 
if, if you go through the gate on the right and you go past the putting green, the first door on the left, which is the master bedroom, is unlocked. You have a Good. putting green in your backyard? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got a little putting green back there. And we got landscapers <laughs> back there because everything's messed up from the snow. Okay. So uh, so uh, if you go through there and you come, go into my bedroom and go into my house and walk up the stairs, my son's room's on the left. What's his name? Cooper. Cooper. Cooper's going to love this. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to keep you on the phone just for a second and make sure I don't screw up. So I'm, I'm going to go to the right side of your house through the gate. Yep. <laughs> Cooper, so did you name your son after a tire? No. Okay, well I see the putting green. All right, yep. we're hanging on the left. I see the garage. Yep, I see the garage over there. Yep. Okay, I assume the master bedroom is straight ahead. That one's locked. I would have thought you'd have a bigger pool if you had a putting green. But we'll, we'll leave that alone. You do what you can. Okay. I'll be outside. We are in the master. Oh, you got in? Have yes, you sir. Okay. Here we go. And if you keep on going, you'll see these stairs. And you just go up the stairs. Okay. Okay. Well, dogs don't like me. I don't know why, but they don't. He'll, he'll love you to death. Okay. He's a lover, not a fighter. Okay. Now i got to figure out how to work the gate. Yeah. Cooper, your dad sent me to wake you up. Uh, Hi, I'm Dennis Collins. Hey. Came to buy your Jeep. I love that. Boss 429. Look at that. That is very cool. So we got a car now. Good morning, Dennis Collins. Hi, Dan. Nice Hi, to meet you, sir. All right, we'll meet you downstairs yeah. in a second. Okay. Well, there you have it. 11 o'clock in the morning. Cooper's still asleep. But obviously, a car kid, which is cool. He's got a Boss 429 sign up there. and. Uh, Dad's on the golf course, and this looks like it's going to be interesting to get that square one out. How's that for gold? Uh-oh, let the dog out. Hey! Okay. All right. So I had to go way up his kid. <laughs> he said, "We've got you guys got to go back that way. Okay. Left on Alpha, and there's an alley. So let's look back here so you guys can kind of get your bearings where you're at. So he was sound asleep. And above the headboard of his bed, yeah. he's got a big Boss 429 no way. picture. Cool. Yeah. So he's a car kid, at least. So you know how roll the Jeep gonna... out of there? Or? I don't know. It doesn't look very uh, easy. Well, I don't guess this side. Oh, okay. Wow, that was a narrow alley. I didn't think this one was going to be easy. Wouldn't be any fun if it was. <laughs> Would that not have been awesome if you had a clapper on it, Josh? <laughs> Come on! Looking for Jeep parts. There's a wheel. There's the hard top and there's the bulkhead, Alex. So it's a start. <laughs> Chrome wheel, too. Maybe it's a little right on all right, well, Cooper was up. You think he's going to come down here? <laughs> You're open? All right, cool. There he is. So where was the party last night, Cooper? Nowhere. Nowhere? No. Okay. All right, your dad sent us to come pick this up, pay you a bunch of money. That's what I just little right up. So, can you open that gate for us, sir? And to get to this alley, how do we get there? Uh, go, take a left on Alpha? And, yeah, and then, yeah. And just cut left here? Yeah. All right. Okay. We're gonna go pay Cooper a bunch of cash, and his dad's out playing golf, and maybe he'll just continue his party for the weekend. It looks like a fun place to party. So this is a project that, a father-son project they just haven't had time to finish. They did build that one together, I was told, the JK, which is cool. 
So if you got one just languishing in your garage and you're tired of it taking all that garage space, call us. We will come pick it up. Cooper, can you call your dad and ask him where the title is? Are you outstanding? He knows where the title is. So at first look, we got a black scrambler. We got the inlay here. Got Laredo door panels, so this could be a triple black Laredo scrambler, which would be fantastic. Motor's obviously out. Got the emissions decal here showing it was a 258, which the majority of scramblers were six cylinders. It's unusual to see a four cylinder. And it is P1, which is it's a factory black Jeep, which I love. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just woke up. Kind of like. We literally woke him up, Neil. All right. Uh, motor transmission right. sitting over there. Yeah, the motor. Okay. Oh, so this had, had was a V8 swap. Yes, sir. Unless you want it. <laughs> okay, so this was a V8 swap Jeep. Yeah, we're going to put a six cylinder back in it. All right, well, I'm going to pay your son what we agreed to on the phone. Okay, it good. works for me. And we'll get it loaded up and get it out of here. Five grand, good enough. Well, we don't ever say on camera, I'm not going to pay you 50000 for it, but I might give you. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> well, have fun on the golf course. And remember, never up, never in. Take every risk you can today. <laughs> will do. I always do. <laughs> All right, sir. We'll take care of it. Thank you. See you later. Yeah, bye. Bye. Right. We'll start loading up. So it is a 1982 Laredo Scrambler, factory black, solid Texas Jeep, but it had a V8 conversion at one time. What is that motor, Alex? Double doesn't look like a Mopar or AMC. Because they would stamp. It's like General Motors to me. Yeah. Nevertheless, we'll put a 258 back in it. We've got the really date coded motors. We'll make it right. So, what's cool about the CJs is the motors are actually date coded. They're not numbered. Yeah. They don't, they didn't, none of them have serial numbers on them. So, it's not the end of the world that the original motor's not here. Because if we put a properly, a proper 1982 date coded motor back in this, it would be great. Mm -hmm. All right, nothing's easy. We need some of these chocks, Alex. Time together, be your Ferrari chocks. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is gonna be fun steering this. Josh has got his gloves on, he's ready to rock. Yeah, let's get it. Not his first rodeo, is it? <laughs> not even close. Oh, well, I don't have any gloves on, so I'm not steering. All right, go get some gloves and help steer. Guy right here is 10 times as strong as I am. <laughs> You're ripping those 33 for like they're nothing. steering column. I don't see it. Cooper, do you know where the steering wheel is? How about the steering column? Was it aftermarket too? Yeah, I think so. Most of the stuff was aftermarket. 
There's the hard top. There's another spare tire for it. Yeah, we'll take that for sure. So that's top. one original wheel. Is that the only original wheel you have? Yeah. Let me tell you what you have for Morgan. Yeah. All right. Hard top. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll put that on. Okay. It's, it's restorable. Hmm. Okay. No steering column. Good thing we have plenty of those in the wrecking yard. Well, actually, not plenty of them. We have some. There's no gloves in the truck. Really? I didn't see any. I don't mind helping. I just... My dishpan hands. I don't want to mess them up. He actually laughed. I did. What? <laughs> I mean, Alex laughed, Josh. Really? Yeah. Did you hurt yourself or what? <laughs> no. I told him I needed gloves because my dishpan hands. I wouldn't mess them up. There's no gloves in the truck. All right, let's set the hard top on there and then we'll strap all that together and then we'll pull the f-250 down because we got a tommy lift on the back of that and put the drive chain in it it's a big reason why we bought our local work truck is to get the drive train out of here great find triple black 1982 laredo scrambler solid texas jeep And shovels. All right, Josh, what's the plan? You want to back up to it or you can wheel it down here? I think we can wheel it down here. Okay. It's a boat anchor we really don't need, but. Your dad said we absolutely have to take this. Yeah, definitely. definitely. So what I'm thinking is we move this and put it on the putting green. What do you think? Lots. He wouldn't uh, like that? Nah, definitely. <laughs> Okay, because that's a boat anchor we don't need, but we will take it. Cooper didn't like my idea. I don't imagine that would be it. You don't think Dad would think that was funny if he came yeah. over and was on his putting green? Probably not. <laughs> well, I'm glad you got a plan because I don't have one. I'm just hoping this works out. Yeah, that's typically how it goes. <laughs> plan A never works. It's like C, D, or E is normally what you wind up going with. Let me look that up if you want. I'm going to look like no, my phone. Smarter. Hi, Robert. Dennis Collins. It was nice to meet you, you too, sir. Eagle lift on the back, or Tommy lift is what I think everybody used to call him, right, Josh? Yeah, yeah. Eagle lift, Tommy lift. All right, Cooper, it's going to a good home. We'll complete it. Okay. Sorry, I woke you up. It's all good. So I'm going to pay you for your for waking you up. A rude yeah. awakening. Thank you, man. Yep. Yeah, have a great day, and we're off. You guys hungry now? Oh yeah. yeah Where are we going? going? I call it motor and maple. Some people call it maple and motor, but nevertheless best hamburgers in Dallas, but I'm not going to have a hamburger. You guys just wait and see what I order. <laughs> All in.
<laughs> I highly suggest you follow my lead, but you can order whatever you want when we get there. All right, let's roll. So here we are at Maplewood Motor. We rescued the 82 Scrambler. One of the best hamburger places. Actually, the best hamburger place in Dallas. But, I'm not going to get a hamburger. Really? <laughs> really? I think you're going to be surprised at what I order, Alex. Alright. Salad? No, it's not going to be the salad. I probably need a salad, though. <laughs> Josh, you hungry? Yeah, a little bit. You know what? We're actually eating lunch at lunchtime. Yeah. That good. never happens, no. does it? Never. Never, ever, ever. It's 12.15. Not only do they have burgers, they have beer! <laughs> Love it. This is a cool place. <laughs> Gotta love this. Stay in line. Order your own food. We'll make sure you have a table. Don't get upset when we catch you poaching. How are you, ma'am? Good, how are you? Good. Okay, we want to start off with uh, all the sides, french fries, tater tots, beer battered onion rings, cheese fries. Bacon and jalapenos on the cheese bar? Yes. Cheese tater tots with bacon and jalapenos also, and chili. So we want the chili cheese tater tots instead of the cheese tater tots? No, we want both. Oh. Yep. And then I'm going to do a fried bologna sandwich. Lettuce, tomato, and mayo. Everything on it. And then I want a cheeseburger, medium rare. Pink? Yes, pink. Mustard and all the vegetables on it? Everything on it and jalapenos. And then I need a, a water, an unsweet tea. But most importantly, I'll start off with a Shiner Bach. <laughs> and then these guys are all on the same ticket. Step up, gentlemen. All right, I will get the fried bologna sandwich. <laughs> with lettuce, tomato, and mayo? Nope, just uh, bologna and bread, I don't what? know. And uh, I will also get a cheeseburger, meat and cheese only. Do you want it cooked pink or not pink? Uh, pink. And a uh, sweet tea. You're up. Can you get a shiner? Josh, I just like a bacon cheeseburger just uh, with mayonnaise only. No vegetables at all? No vegetables at all. Do you want yours pink or not pink? Uh, no. Okay. All right. We got the bologna regular. Uh, yeah, that's bologna with everything on it, right? That's me. We got the bologna plain. Cheeseburger, two jalapenos, two cheeseburgers plain. Last but not least, bacon cheeseburger with mayo. Thank you, and I'm right back with the sides. So this is something you rarely see: fried bologna sandwich. If you've never had one, nothing tastes like this. Outstanding. And yes, I ordered a burger too because they got the best burgers in Dallas, but. The reason I wanted to be here today, fried bologna sandwich. <laughs> Look at that. That's a proper piece of bologna. It ain't no bologna. It's so good. Best bite. You got to double it up. Nothing tastes like that. Awesome. Maple and Motor. It was outstanding. Fried bologna sandwiches, medium rare hamburgers. It was good. Man, it was good. <laughs> there you go. Off to the next one. Well, we started the day off with donuts. Went and rescued a triple black 1982 Laredo Scrambler and finished off the day with fried bologna sandwiches. I'd say that was a well-rounded day, Alex. It was. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Please like, tag, share, and follow. We'll see you next week.